Hello friends, Kid Charming here. Um, if you can notice, I'm wearing sunglasses. It's just really, really bright today. Um, I do apologize for not having a video out uh, yesterday. Uh, I'm gonna try to make it up to you by doing as many videos as I can this week. Um, I'm gonna try for every day if possible. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully the content's good. Um, that's, that's the goal anyway. Um, so today we're going to talk about something a little bit, uh, a little heavy, I guess. Um, I want to talk about the subject of maturity. And by that I mean like, I don't know, like mental maturity, I guess. Um, so, you know, just a disclaimer, uh, this is my opinion. Oh God, heaven forbid that I have an opinion. Uh, these are just my opinions, um, and opinions, you know, do change. I don't find that hypocritical at any time. You know, with knowledge comes, um, you know, a change of view or a change of, uh, a change of thinking. Um, so what I say today for my opinion on maturity may change down the road depending on if I get new information or whatnot. I don't think that's hypocritical. I think that that's evolution and that's, you know, a part of maturity is being able to say, you know, I was wrong back then and... And, and, you know, now that I have more information about said subject, you know, this is, this is my new opinion. Um, so maturity, um, so I can probably guess that a lot of you have had people, you know, when you're just goofing off, you're like, oh, you're so immature, but you're just goofing off. Cause you know, you like to have fun, whatever. So what a lot of people misconstrue as maturity, which in my opinion is actually a very immature thought of what maturity is, because this is what like children think maturity is, not what grown adults or or young adults should, you know, think maturity really is. Um, which is, you know, you have to be serious all the time, you know, you can't you can't be joking around all the time. You have to be serious, you need to be goal oriented, basically stressed out all the time just thinking about work and paying bills and all that stuff no that's that's not what maturity is uh of course again in my opinion um for me much like for me that is an immature thought that's what children think you know little kids think maturity is that's what they think they like you know they see their parents you know doing things and being adults and usually serious in that manner when it comes to like finances all that jazz you know that's that's what little children think of maturity they think that it means you know business suits and going to work and all that stuff I mean sure if that's what you work and you wear business suits to work, whatever that's cool but I mean you know that serious serious like you gotta be like a super serious person to be a mature individual I mean, in my opinion, you couldn't be farther from the truth. Um, my opinion of what maturity is, is having that balance of knowing that, you know, don't take life too seriously, life's too short mentality, but balancing it out with being responsible, being a responsible adult, making sure all your needs are met, making sure like if you're in a relationship, all of your partner's needs are met as well. You guys are together, you know, working together as a team to to further your future together stuff like that like being prepared and and always having backup plans stuff like that that is maturity to me is is that you know not taking life too seriously being able to crack a joke you know it, it's it, and it's knowing when to be serious you don't have to be serious all the time to be a mature individual it's knowing when you have to be serious I will be the first person to tell you that I am a goofball. Like I crack jokes on the daily. It's something that I like to do. It it makes it lightens up people around me, you know, it makes them feel more comfortable. It makes them, you know, for all I know, they've had a crap day, nothing's gone right, you know, maybe they got yelled at by their boss, whatever. So, you know, I like to be the comic relief just so that maybe, just maybe, I'm that little, little bit of happy that happened that day. You know, I want to be that for people. Um, so I, I, I joke around all the time, but I know when I have to be serious. I know that when someone comes to me with a real problem that they really want to discuss with me or when someone is crying around me or something, I know this is my time to be serious. Do I still crack a joke every once in a while during that serious time? Yes, because 
it's toxic to be so serious and just, you know, when there's negativity around, you know, like if you're, if you keep that stern appearance when, when there's negativity, it, it only, in my opinion, breeds more negativity. Like if someone's crying, I'm going to comfort them and say, you know, it's all right. Don't worry about it. Tell me about it. You know, we can talk it out. You know, I can be that shoulder, whatever. Let me help you. I, I will be that serious, compassionate person. Will I try to crack a joke to make them smile, to maybe forget about what made them upset for a second? Absolutely. But that's healthy. That's healthy to not be dwelling on it that way. But I know when I'm when I'm having a meeting with my boss, well, I can't even say that my boss is kind of a goof too, but I enjoy that about her. Um, it actually makes me more comfortable knowing that she's she's serious about her job and she's serious about what needs to be done, but she's also really funny. So that makes me comfortable because that's how I work too. Um... But I know like if I'm in a business meeting with a client or something that it is, it is, you know, you put your game face on and you be serious. You don't make inappropriate jokes for one. Never do that. Um, you know, you, you have that business feel to yourself about, you know, what's going in. You know, usually if I know I'm meeting up with a client or whatever, I dress appropriately for that. I will wear a, a tie, a bow tie. Um, a button up shirt and some nice jeans or if it's super, super thing that I got to go to, if it, if I know I have to be business formal, I'll wear slacks or whatever and, and nice shoes. Um, but that's, that's maturity knowing that on the daily, normally I'm a goofball, you know, I take my job seriously. I won't do anything to jeopardize my job. You know, comedy doesn't come above my job. My job is important. My job is what uh, helps pay the mortgage, helps pay for my car, helps pay for my insurance, pays for my phone pays for my internet so that I can put these videos up for you guys. That is the mature thing to do is that I know life's short and I want to do things and I, I, I have aspirations, I have dreams and I'm working towards them, but that's it. I'm working towards them. I'm being an adult about it. I'm working my job. I'm there. When I'm there, I'm there. I, I focus on what I got to do because that is the mature thing to do. That is maturity. Knowing, knowing when you have to be serious. And knowing that you don't have to be serious all the time. And people who call me immature because I joke around all the time, I take solace in the fact that I know that they have a skewed perception of what maturity is. And the thing is, is that people like that that are serious all the time. They only attract other people that want to be serious all the time. And, and that breeds such negativity because where's your happy there? If you're not joking around and goofing off and, you know taking friendly shots at people or whatever, you know, what do you have with these people? But the serious thing, like those type of people who are serious all the time, that can't joke around playfully with people. Those are the type of people that, in my opinion, I, in my experience, backstab other people. Like these serious, serious people only think about themselves. And I don't want to, I don't want those people around me. Like, I, I honestly, that kind of negativity is not... Not something that I, I want in my life. Like, I have come a long way to be able to be a happier person. Like, I've gone, like, everybody's gone through things that have made them, um, you know, whether it's depression or, or just a really rough go of things. I don't want to go back there by having that kind of, like, poison atmosphere in my life. I don't want it. I can't. I don't, I don't want to even entertain that thought. I like to keep myself around the people that I know I can joke around with and say, Hey, what's up, dude? You know... You, you look like shit because they, they, they look like shit. I can say that to people. Well, I cursed. I'm sorry. I do apologize. Because um, they're, my, they're, they're, they're my friends. They're people that I, I would like to have around me because I understand that they know that I'm not going to be serious. But when that time came that I needed to be serious with them, they know they can rely on me to do so. So, again, maturity going back to balancing being an adult you know, doing your job, nose to the grindstone, making sure that you keep yourself in a, in a position where you're going to keep that job. You're going to be able to support yourself. You know, you're paying your bills. You're, 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 you're doing what you can. Um, I know that in, in some circumstances that that is difficult and it's nothing to do with maturity level. It is just hard times. And that's not what I mean. I'm just talking about people who are like, you know, screw everything. You only live once. You know, if my boss came up to me and was like, Hey, get to work. And you're like, screw you. You know, you don't understand. Um, I'm a free, 
I don't want to say that either because uh, some people are free spirits, but you know, like they just don't care that the repercussions of their actions, like they don't understand that in a workplace that this is, you need to show respect for, for those above you because that's how you keep your job. You know, that kind of mentality where it's like, no one's going to tell me what to do. Then you don't really belong in a workplace at that point. Do I mean like if, if you're being like legit bullied or, uh, you know, blackmailed, bribed, you know, they're just being wrong to you, like legitimately wrong to you. Yeah, I would then say something. I would stand up for myself or I would find a way to stop it like you know that's a different situation but it's like keeping your job because you know you need it to to survive at this point you know what I mean but still knowing that you know don't take life too seriously or you're just going to keep yourself down all the time um so yeah that's my that's my my thoughts on on maturity and a little rant there I guess um but yeah that is that is you know, you learn a little bit about me and you learn about my opinions on stuff. But I want to know what your guys' thoughts on maturity is. I want to know what you think and what you consider mature. Everybody's opinions are going to differ. And that's okay. Again, maturity is... Well, I guess that's another point of maturity is knowing that no, not everybody's going to agree with you. But saying, you know, that's fine. I don't mind if people disagree with me. That's cool. I don't expect people to agree with everything that I say. That would be, I don't know, it'd be kind of a stupid assumption that everybody's going to agree with me. Everybody has led a different life. Everybody has their own thoughts, have their own experiences. So I don't expect a lot of people, like everybody to agree with me. I'm sure there's going to be a few people out there that's going to agree with me, but not everybody does. Maybe they have information and experiences that can maybe change my opinion on things, which is great. I always love more information. Information is what makes the world go round. It keeps us uh, ever growing. The more information we get, the more we know, the better choices we can make in the future. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Let me let me know what your version of maturity is. Um, we can talk about it, whatever it is. Um, but I got to get to work. Speaking about, you know, being mature and, you know, a responsible adult. I got to get into work. Um, but it was nice talking to you. Uh, have yourselves a great rest of your day. Kid Charming out.